Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at uh, special cases of transmission line. And we're going to start off with short circuit. And then we're going to move on to open circuit. And we're going to learn how I can make devices out of short circuit and, uh, and uh, open circuit. And how I can make a piece of wire act as a transmission, uh, which is a transmission line, act as an inductor or capacitor. So we're going to start off with our basic equation that we've been working on for a very longest amount of time, which is V of Z, sorry, V of Z, given as VO plus E to the negative J beta Z plus E to the J beta Z times it by reflection coefficient because still we're making that replacement where I have VO minus is equals to R times VO plus. That is the replacement I'm making in place of VO minus. So I'm making that replacement uh, VO minus is equals to reflection coefficient gamma times VO plus. I have I of Z which is given as VO plus divided by Z naught E to the negative J beta Z plus R of uh, gamma E times J beta Z. Okay, so let's, let's look at our scenario. Uh, what is it that we're looking at? Uh, we're going to use short circuit scenario and we're going to come up with an impedance of a short circuit and once I plot that impedance, that impedance uh, using that impedance definition, we're going to look at uh, how I can make devices out of it. Uh, devices means, let's say, inductor or a capacitor. So the first thing I need to do is this. If I were to look at this short, uh, having a short circuit basically means that you have a source which is connected at the one, one side, which is your Zn, and you just have a short circuit. All right. So I know something about short circuit. The impedance of a short circuit is actually zero. All right. So the impedance of a short circuit is zero. And in a short circuit, if you were to look at this diagram, voltage is at zero. So when I have a short circuit, if I were to look at the voltage curve, it's actually zero at the end of this transmission line. Uh, I also made a video on it as well. Um, you can also look at that video where I actually demonstrated how does a short circuit and an open circuit behaves. So in a short circuit, you have voltage is equal to zero. So I'm going to write these. These are a couple of things that I know. Impedance is zero and voltage is equal to zero. And this is how the voltage looks like. Current is maximum in a short circuit because current like to take a least resistive path. Since it has impedance is equal to zero, that's why it will have the maximum current draw. And also, I know something else. Reflection coefficient gamma is also negative 1 for a short circuit. So these are the couple of things that I know. So having that said, uh, gamma is equals to negative 1. So I'm going to, in place of gamma, this is actually minus. This is actually, there's a uh, typo. Okay, so this top equation will become V of Z is equals to V O plus e the negative j beta z minus when i when i plug in negative one in place of gamma so this would become minus e to the j beta z and then i of z is going to be vo plus divided by z naught times e to the negative j beta z in place of minus this would become plus e to the j beta z so after plugging in negative 1 in place of gamma, uh, the equation, these equation will become something like this. Okay, next step I need to do, I need to look at the Zn. Zn for a short circuit. Okay, I know this is going to be V divided by I, which is going to be this, evaluated at a point, evaluated and z is equal to some value. So if you were to look at it, when I had my load connected here, what is that position? This was zero. So basically, when having a short circuit, if I were to go back towards the generator, 
and let's say I have a generator and I plug in my wires and I leave that short I mean I short it out the end at the load part of it what is that location so in place of Z we're gonna plug in negative L in place of Z I'm gonna plug in my negative L that is the location of that line on that transmission uh, that's the location of that point in that transmission line so once I do that V of Z which is going to be Z short circuit evaluated at negative L the top equation would become VO plus in place of Z when I plug in negative L I will get E to the JBL minus E to the negative JBL same thing current evaluated at negative L this would become VO plus divided by Z naught times E to the JBL plus E to the minus JBL this is what my value would look like so now the next step is this if I were to look at it if I were to look at this definition if I were to so this and this will cancel out so if I were to just look at this definition so let's look at Euler's identity for sine let's do sine of x sine of x is going to be e times jx minus e times negative jx divided by 2j this is Euler's identity for sine for cos of x this is e to the jx plus e to the minus jx divided by 2 so when I look at this guy what does it look like to you this actually looks like sine isn't it but it's missing 2j so we're gonna bring this in so this would become sine BL all right this thing and then I'm gonna bring that to 2j in and this if you were to look at this definition this would looks like cos so I'm gonna make that replacement cos BL all right so I'm gonna divide top uh, I'm gonna divide this whole thing by negative 2j on the, both of these sides all right so when I cross multiply this I have this thing that goes up what does this look like to you this actually tan BL so by dividing top and bottom by 2j and then you have two on the bottom those two will cancel out you will end up with an equation that looks like this so this is z for short circuit which is a function of tan bl j z naught tan bl okay so this is what the impedance of this looks like so now let's let's look at it and let's let's look at this diagram and try to understand what that is so i have a short circuit scenario right here i have a voltage in my short circuit which is at the end of the line is actually zero my current is very high in short circuit and this is what the tan graphs look like now as you can see in the picture I can see this there's an inductor there's a capacitor there's an inductor there's a capacitor that is there so when I look at it so this is this graph of a short circuit so now when I when I look at this particular graph if you were to look at it if you walk down to your transmission line and if you are in a length between 0 to lambda by 4 if you I hope you can see this clearly all right if you were to walk down your transmission line what is the first curve of tan that you encounter which is a positive side isn't it so positive is actually your inductance and your negative size is your capacitances so as soon as you start walking down this line the first curve that you encounter is a positive curve which is on top of the graph which is right here on the positive coordinate in this if I were to choose any length this length of that piece of wire is going to act as an inductor so all I need to do I need to solve for my L and if I know what value of inductance or the or of the inductor that I want just simply solve for it and I will that length of that piece of transmission line will act as an inductor if I go further along my transmission line if I were to choose a length between lambda by 4 and between lambda by 2 this thing start acting like a capacitor 
so I can make these I can choose the length of that piece of wire and make it act either as a capacitor or as an inductor by just looking at the definition of short circuit these are also known as stubs in microwave uh, you can have open circuit stubs you can also have short circuit stubs so I hope you like this small tutorial uh, by simply solving for L you can just simply find out the length of that transmission line that you need to have to either make it act as an inductor or a capacitor so I hope you like this small tutorial on special cases of transmission line how to build inductors and capacitor using short circuit and if you have any questions leave it in a comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel